Loey Nanny Janny here. I've been eating the dias meat. We don't have that on the um, uh, Quest version. But on the PC version, if you kill the deer and you chop up their meat and you eat three of them, it makes you all glowy. But it's a bit on annoying for the camera. Never mind. But anyway, and you don't get bones because you've chopped it up so you don't get the bones to get rid of. Well, today I thought I would um, make a video about um, selling things, having an economy in your town. On the quest, we're starting to um, open up the little shop things and we're trying to make ourselves a little economy. And yesterday I sold one of those swords that you get in bandit camp one of these I found it in the bandit camp you still find them in the bandit camp on the PC as well but um, and I found this one there was no of that I made that one I found the handle and I made this one so if I was on the piece on the quest it'd be nice for other people to be able to have those kind of things without just having to give it away so I thought I'd start with the actual bank here, you can hold all your coins in one place. You just have to put your hand on here and you can see how many coins you've got. You just pop them in here once you've put your hand on and they'll go up to there. And then here, you pull the handle and you can pull the take out as much as you want. All right, let's make it 50. I don't know how many things I'm gonna open. Oh, that will do. Anyway, so just take the bag then and you've got your coins. Have I got room? Yes. So, then upstairs you've got another thing. I'm going a little bit slow because I'm carrying gold bars. And I want to show you how to open up the coin press. And here... We have the coin press. You need to open it by putting in coins and 15 iron bars, crystals, and crystal. Oh, five, that's not bad then. Two. Three, four, five. And there you are, you've got the coin press. Which, all you need for it, just turn it go over this way so you can still see me, all you need for it is a gold bar. You put the gold bar on, it automatically sets itself in, and then you make five gold out of it. Let's do another one because these bars are heavy. And again, so it's always good to go down into the mine and never leave the gold behind. Because once you've got past and you want to just get mithril, you've got past the gold and the silver and everything. I've been leaving the gold because it's not that useful. It's quite a soft metal unless you're going to mix it with the mithril to make that nice green one that I keep using and that's your gold press so now you've got some money if you haven't been finding it in the chest and I don't know about you but because I'm on my own I haven't been bothering collecting the gold so I've only got a small amount of it on the other server I think it's going to be worth um, collecting from now on or making my own coins so then here I don't know if you know that this is the same, this circle place by the town hall. It's the same as the ones down by the crafting house, in between the crafting house and the kitchen. It's getting dark now. And um, it's still a shop where you can sell your things, sell your items. Well, let's chuck seven in. A bit more gold. One, 
two, three, and four. Oh, I've done the bars now, I need the wood. Here we go. Not one at a time, Jan. Come on, you'll be here all day. And there you go. Made that. And I am going to make a torch because it's getting a bit dark. Let's just get this all out. And unlike on the quest, you have to bend down and pick everything up here. So, good exercise. There. So there's your machine. Or you're selling your shop on the back side. And I'm not 100% about these yet. I haven't really done a lot. But from what I've been told, let's turn you around so you can see the other side. What I've been told is you put another coin in. Get a coin. And you put it, pop it in there, or you put a few coins in, and it fills up this green bar. Whether that's to say that it's your machine and you this is the only one that you're going to use, I'm not sure. And then you decide what you're going to put in it. Let's see where I can put this. Because I don't want to be selling that. All right, it's gone behind. Blur me in it. Okay, right. This sword, this nice sword that I found. See now you can open, see the thing holding, um, wobbling? That means you can put it in there. And on this one, that's where you can put the price. Now on the, on the quest one, I only, oh it's upwards. So I only sold it for 10. I mean, I can put it for however much I want because there's no one going to buy it. But that's what you do. I'll just get that torch again so you can properly see. See? So now I've put it on for 10 gold. And it's got a picture of there how many I've got in there. So if it was for, I don't know, food or potions or something, you could sell multiple of them. And uh, I suppose, I think that's it. I don't know how to get the flag up now. Oh, I still got that thing on on here. I forgot to turn it off. So maybe I need to put more coins in. Let's have a look. Because the flag came up on the other one. Oh, I know what you got to do. you got to pull the handle. Uh, no. Yes. Oh, and that brought the sword out. And a coin. Oh, that was good. So I'm obviously doing something wrong. Put the sword in. Do the price. Maybe you have to manually flop up. Well, I don't know. Put more money in. Maybe I have to put 10 coins in. One, two, three. We're just waiting for the flag to come up. Four. Oh, get in. Oh, is that must be it then. So it just has to have four in it. And then that's it. That's as far as I know. So, other than that, well, I don't know what I've done wrong. Maybe I'll walk away? Nope. Anyway, that's how you sell stuff without getting the flag up. Maybe I'll come back to you on that one. I don't know why it's not working. Maybe I'm just doing it too cheap. It wants me to make it so much more money. Nope. I'll put the flag up myself. There's a nice picture of... Ooh, I've got to show you that. There's a nice picture of the sword on the back that I didn't notice before. Look at that. And it's telling you how much it's worth. 
Oh, maybe the flag goes up when someone's bought it. Ha! <laughs> maybe that's it. Maybe I'll put 25 in it and see what happens. Just buy it from myself. 35. Right, I'll put 25 in. And I get the sword. Ow, oh, that's why. Oh. That's good. So I just bought myself a nice sword. How's that? <laughs> I think it's quite good. And hopefully, on the quest version, our uh, economy is going to start building up. I suppose. Oh, yeah. Let's go and have a look. Where do we get the money? Where do I get the money from? That's a point. Ah, look, there it is in the end. So I get the 25 coins out the side there. Oh, I'm quite pleased. I figured it out. Oh, well, I'll speak to you later. I won't be rich on this server, but hopefully on the other one I can make a bit. Bye. Do. <laughs> when you die, yeah, house to believe.